All right, brother, it's time to have a very important conversation today. As you can see, I'm in the car doing a little car rant. If you're an OG of the brotherhood, you know about my car rants. Let me know in the comments. Have you seen these before? Anyway, today's topic is escapism. Modern day escapism. You're probably like, what the fuck is that, Matt? Escapism? What do you mean? So when I was 17, I got into my first relationship. I got my first girlfriend and it was, you know, the classic, I fall in love. She's my everything. I want to marry her. I'm going to be with her forever. We're going to have kids and live happily ever after. I was head over heels in love with her. She broke my heart. To keep it short, she broke my heart. She ripped it right out of me, rejected me, friend zoned me. And right around the same time that she broke up with me, so we were in a relationship for like six months during my last year of high school. And it was it was like a, oh yeah, I don't wanna be with you anymore because I'm going to college next year. I wanna get dicked down by other, by other dudes <laughs> in college. And me being that weak kind of needy boy was like, oh, but I wanna be with you during college. We can do long distance. Fuck that, never works. But anyway, my heart was broken. And at the same time, I started smoking weed with my buddies, my friends. Started smoking weed daily. Right around the time that she broke up with me. And now this drug, weed, quickly became my escapism. Quickly became the substance that I escaped through because I felt hurt. I felt pain every single day. I wanted to cry. So I would escape through the weed. When I got high, I felt good. When I got high, I forgot about my problems. When I got high, I forgot about my heartbreak. I forgot about the pain that I felt. And it was the one time during the day where I felt good, where I felt good about myself, where I felt, I felt really anything. I was able to laugh, have fun with my friends. So I was escaping through this drug. I was escaping through the weed. Instead of facing my pain. Fast forward a year, fast forward six months, whatever it was. Now I'm in college. Now I'm escaping through alcohol more. Now I'm drinking every single weekend. Every, I'm, I'm drinking three nights a week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I was a binge drinker. And I had no control over my, what do you call it? My, to like my tolerance was super low, but I also would drink too much. So I would black out damn near every time I drank. I was escaping. I was running from my pain. I was running from my problems. So I'd mask the pain with alcohol. I'd mask the pain with weed. Oh, I'd mask the pain with porn, with video games. You see where I'm going with this? Maybe you haven't ever smoked weed. Maybe you don't drink, but are you, are you escaping through other outlets? Video games, porn. What are you running from? Me, back then, I was running from my heartbreak. I was running from that pain of just fucking feeling rejected. So I'd constantly keep indulging and, and getting drunk too. It was like, I essentially just was depressed, right? I used that heartbreak. I let it, I let it bring me down so much that I got depressed. And then the alcohol and the weed were my escape outlet, were my outlet to escape through. I was escaping through those substances, but it only made my depression worse. You see, we lie to ourselves. We tell ourselves, oh, but I feel good when I drink alcohol. Oh, but I feel good when I smoke weed. Oh, but it helps my, it helps my anxiety. It makes me less stressed. It's my de-stressor. When in reality, it's a temporary feeling. It temporarily helps with your anxiety. It temporarily masks the pain. You basically push it to the side. But in, at the end of the day, when you wake up the next morning from that long night of binge drinking you you come back to reality when you when you smoke that weed a couple hours later you're back to reality you're back with what's right in front of you which is the pain of heartbreak which is the pain of a lost a, a lost loved one which is the pain what other what other pains are there bro what else can we like feel maybe you're depressed maybe just you're depressed maybe you hate your life 
and you're just escaping through these things. You're escaping through pleasure. It took me way longer to get over this heartbreak because of the fact that I was escaping and just running away from my pain, running away from my problems instead of facing it like a man. And when I mean face it, when I mean face your pain, I mean straight up you have to sit with that pain. You have to feel it. You can't run from it. Over time you will get over it. But you will only prolong it if you keep escaping through alcohol, if you keep escaping through weed. And this is a message from my younger self right now, bro. Like, I could have saved three years of my life if I heard a message like this. It's so sad, bro. Like, there are so many people in this world who still escape daily, who still run from their pain, run from their problems, and lie to themselves and say, yeah, but it makes me feel good in the moment, so it must be helping me. It's only making you feel good in the moment. It's only temporary pleasure. It's a temporary escape. It's not a long-term fix. When I finally realized this, when I said, fuck, man, I need to stop escaping. I need to literally, like, I need to get rid of the weed. I need to stop drinking. I need to fucking be with myself. And it was fucking painful. All that pain came to the surface. All that hurt came to the surface. I easily could have relapsed back to those substances. Because that's like, once you are addicted, that's all you know is escapism. Once you are addicted, that's all you know is running from your problems, running from your pain. But once I realized, no, enough's enough. It's time to change. It's time to quit those addictions. It's time to actually face my problems. They all will come to the surface and they all did for me. They all came to the surface and I had to sit with my pain, sit with that fire, sit in the fire. And there were days in the beginning when I stopped smoking, when I stopped drinking, when I stopped going on the freaking hub and huh, beating my meat all the time, when I stopped doing all this bullshit. There were days where that pain was so much and I had to literally just sit there and be miserable. Be fucking miserable. But I told myself, I'm not giving in. I'm not. I'm not going back to that. I'm going to sit with this pain and it will leave eventually. Over time, you become happier and happier and happier. You get over that what you get over those those pains that are holding you back you start to face your problems instead of running from them you become a problem solver instead of an addict who runs and escapes it's so hard to quit addictions but it's possible of course it is i've done it thousands of people have done it you just gotta be mentally strong you gotta you gotta really want it and recognize that recognize that you're running from your pain recognize that you're not helping yourself in any way it's a temporary escape you want long-term happiness then stop escaping temporarily sit through that pain get through the get through the first few weeks of feeling like shit of feeling like damn i want to relapse of that itchiness, like, oh, I just want to, I want to get high, that feeling, bro, like, I, I've been there, but when I made it through the other side, mental clarity, energy, happiness, no longer chained to these addictions, no longer escaping through pleasure, but hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro, escapism is everywhere, I still escape, I still sometimes turn on the TV, watch a movie, and just escape for a few hours, forget about my life, forget about my, about my problems. Of course. But when your whole life is centered around that, when your whole life is centered around getting high, every weekend you're going out drinking just to feel something, to, to numb your pain, to just push it aside and lie to yourself and say, no, it's actually helping me. No, it's hurting you, bro. It's hurting you. 
But yeah, I mean, fuck, I still escape. I watch sports, right? I like watching football. I'm a Patriots fan. And it's funny, every weekend I find myself watching this game, right? And I'm thinking, like, I'm pretty self-aware now. I've been on self-improvement for a long time. I journal, I meditate. I'm on NoFap, like I'm spiritually in tune, I feel like. I feel like I'm at a good place spiritually, emotionally, all of it. I'm self-aware. So when I'm watching this game, I'm thinking, damn, bro. Why am I, why am I wasting time watching other men live out their dream, live out their purpose? And then at the same time, why am I che why am I getting upset when they lose? I'm letting the outcome of a damn game affect how I feel internally. How pathetic is that? How pathetic is that? So I realize, you know what? If I like I'll still watch, right? I'll still watch for every Sunday, you know. I'll watch. I'm not at that level yet where I completely cut out all of the escapism that's like fucking that's hard to do bro it really is i'll put my hand up and admit like yeah that's hard to do so i'll still watch but i'm i'm trying to watch now with more of an open mind like it doesn't fucking matter if they win or lose who cares at the end of the day i'm still me at the end of the day it shouldn't affect how i feel who gives a fuck if they win or lose it's not my life i'm watching through a screen i'm watching other men through a screen it's not like Anyway, bro, super fans, super fans really get to me now. It's, it's funny. It's like, bro, you literally will let a game, a game. And hey, I'm very competitive. I love sports, but I'm, I'm starting to realize like, wait a sec, you're going to let a game affect the way you feel for the rest of the day, for the rest of the week. Just something to think about. Just something to think about. But anyway, escapism, bro, escapism. It's like... I am so much happier now that I don't smoke weed, now that I don't drink every weekend, now that I don't play video games, now that I don't watch porn. Because I got over that period of facing my fucking pain and facing my problems head on, not masking it with pleasure. No. No sit in the fire i'm trying to think if like i'm trying to think what else helped me it's it's really as simple as grabbing your nuts and literally sitting in the fire how bad do you want it do you want to be free do you want to free yourself from this jail cell that's what it is it's a jail cell you're stuck coping saying that it's helping you it's not helping you it's not helping you real life is not meant to real life isn't in a bottle real life isn't in a bong it's not through a screen real life is real life isn't even you watching me through the screen real life is fucking what's in front of you right now bro not this not the phone maybe your bedroom maybe you're outside I want you to ex experience this kind of bliss, this, this peace, this joy. And it comes from getting rid of the escape outlets. Be strong, brother. I hope this message helped. Maybe I'll do more car rants when I have something like this on my mind. I needed to get this off my chest. It's been a message I've wanted to spread. This is basically the, the basis of my channel. So anyway, bro. Just started doing one-to-one -one coaching there's a link in the description also we have a brotherhood discord if you want to join that get closer to other guys around the world who are on self-improvement i will see you in the next video wait which hand do i normally do it's got to be this one peace